Now, as the title suggests, I've waited two years to try these golf clubs. My only fear is, I hope I'm not disappointed. Now, before we go any further, is there one product that you would really like to get your mitts on and give it a go right now? Oh, it was close. Let's be scared of the dark. Now, the brand is Even Roll, and more importantly, the designer of those putters is Gerwin Reif, an absolute genius in terms of putter heads. And I want to see what all the fuss is about. Is he as good as they make out and are even roll as good as they proclaim? We'll find out in what is to be a very interesting video. But these are in fact no ordinary putters. In fact, two of them out of the three heads types that I've got, I find really, really interesting. But one grip is also something well worth having a look at. That's a good start to the video. Now we may in fact have three very, very different head designs in their styles, but one thing that remains very constant with these even roll putters, well that's their face. Go again. Oh my word, this is getting good. Their face that they call sweet face, and that's something that I've never been referred to ever in the past. Certainly not by my wife. Yeah, so sweet face technology, what is it? Well, you'll see from the two puts that I roll that are behind me now where they've both finished is the idea is that wherever you hit strike on that face, then they should roll out to the same distance. Now, even roll call all of their putters swing weight balanced. Now, what that effectively means is that they produce two different head weights that differ depending on the length of shaft and then the grip is sort of counterbalanced, if you like, to make sure that that swing weight balance remains throughout every single putter that you will try of even rolls. And what it essentially tries to do, swing weight balance, is encourage a very much a balanced swing, keep the tempo and rhythm encouraged with that kind of rock of the shoulders, don't hold another. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't go in, this was starting to look a bit silly. But um, I must say that again, throughout every uh, style that I've tried so far, and we'll get to those very, very shortly, uh, that has proven to be the case. Right, so that's a basic story that is found in each of these CNC milled putters, but there are very different heads with very different tech stories, and it's about to get very interesting. Don't go anywhere. Right, I'm gonna kick things off with what I consider to be, well, I'm gonna call it the boring end of this range at least. It's the traditional uh, blade style, ER2V. Now look, I'm calling it boring. This is a classic milled putter. It's absolutely stunning. The finish on this thing, the black version that I've got right now is unreal. It really does ooze class. Again, all the components, shaft and grip that we've already talked about, it's just a quality build from start to finish and it feels superb off the face. But for me, it is not too exciting in terms of its design style and it's exactly what I'd expect from a high-end blade. This puts that I'm rolling now, the feel was good. I can't judge whether or not the distance control over those grooves is accurate or not, but certainly from the putts I've rolled, it uh, did what I was expecting it to. I think we might have hold a fairly long one there. And so far, it's a good start, but the exciting bit is yet to come. Well, for me at least, anyway. Now, I should say that the boring one, the blade style, gets a lot less boring later on in this video when we introduce a mid-lock grip on a 40-inch long putter. It's the same head, but gets totally different when that grip gets attached. And don't go anywhere to see how I perform with that thing. Right, next up, it starts to get a little bit interesting for me, at least anyway, because I'm a user of a mallet style putter, and this is very much your classic mallet. ER, is it ER 11V or ER 2V? Take your pick, that's up to you. As soon as you take that head cover off, what you're met with is again, is a very, very visually attractive putter. The one thing that uh, is very noticeable throughout this whole range that I've got in hand right now is they are so well put together. You're spending or investing a lot of money if you buy one of these putters and what you can certainly see is you're getting what you pay for in the sense that it's a truly, it's a, it's a great piece of engineering. It looks superb, it really does. This is, like I said, classic style mallet. It's got a, a lot of perimeter weighting. Interestingly enough, it's got a bit of toe hang. It's not a face balance mallet putter. Real strong alignment aid. Sits superb behind the ball in the fact that you just plonk this putter down and straight away you've got, um, you don't have to do a great, you just address the ball. Once again, seems to encourage a nice sort of uh, tempo through the ball. Maybe I should have read that one. We'll have a go from the other end, in fact, and. Uh, 
see what we can do knowing which way that brake is but it just the feel is consistent the same as what we've got off of the blade but all in all just a real good contender in that mallet i just love the way it encourages that stronger or the, the tempo of the swing it encourages and again if we'd have hit that one we were bang on line so far we've had a traditional blade i'd call this a traditional mallet so more excitable but what's about to come well, it really starts to get interesting. Okay, so I've used the word traditional for both the mallet and the blade so far. That's the last time you're gonna hear that word mentioned, certainly for the next putter and the next style of grip, because this thing is far from traditional. That's a difficult putt I've decided to demo this on. Sweet face. You see, this putter is anything but traditional, like I just said. In fact, it is so almost defies tradition, and it introduces theories and technologies that we've not seen in every other club putter design. It certainly questions um, traditional. I'll explain some of them to you now. The first one being that weighting system. The weighting system is nothing new, but it's very much spread out into four far corners away from the centre of this club face to make it ultra stable. The weight has been removed from the centre and distributed out to those four corners, hence that hole in the middle. It also provides an interesting alignment aid back to the kind of uh, the two ball that we've seen in the past. So uh, that same concept applies at address. The shape is very futuristic. In fact, it reminds me of the Scotty Cameron Futura from a few years back, as does the way this uh, club, uh, the shaft meets the club head, the putter head in this case. It's very much set back. It's not center shafted, nor is it uh, heel shafted. Again, very, very different with the way that that enters into the body of the putter. It's also very different the way the putter shaft leaves the putter grip it's very much at an angle and that's something i've seen in recent putters that i've introduced here so all of these concepts are very very different and then you get this idea of when i sort of uh, you've seen this many times before if i can get that balanced that is no face balanced nor has it got toe hang it's quite different than what we've seen before apart from some recent reviews that i've done so they've packed together a number of uh, interesting technologies and put it into one putter, this even roll zero. And I want to know just how good this thing can be because it is very, very different from the majority of putters that I've reviewed on this channel. Very recently, I reviewed a putter that's got the same concept in terms of the way the shaft um, leaves the putter grip and enters into the putter head. And effectively, what it creates, if I stand that way, is forward leans, forward press. So your hands are very much over the ball at address. It's an automatic position that you adopt. You have no choice in that matter, and it gets your hands forward of the ball. In the other putter that I reviewed, which was the Mez from Lab Golf, it worked very, very well for me, at least anyway. And I love the way this sets up because it puts me in a very comfortable position, in a correct position, in my opinion. The difference with this putter is then the way, first of all, the size of the head, and then the way in which the shaft enters into the putter head itself, with it not being center balanced, uh, center shafted. And that again is very different to get used to, but it sits really well at address. Again, no real options as to how you want to manipulate or choose to move this thing around. And then it's a case of using the weight of the head and just um, letting the thing, letting it do its thing. And that's not easy, trust me. We as golfers want to manipulate that club face all the time. We just can't keep our hands still. And like I found with the Mez putter, if you can do that, if you can just throw a little bit of trust into the, uh, the theory behind the way this is balanced, then you've just got to let it do its thing, pick your line and commit to it. And trust me, it's a very, in my opinion, it's a very interesting and worthwhile concept that everyone should explore in terms of trying a putter. But I suppose the question remains, does the technology built into the even roll zero, does it help? I suppose, I mean, absolutely is my opinion. I mean, at the end of the day, if you put stabilizers on a bike, it's, it's pretty difficult to fall off. And I don't understand how any golfer couldn't take advantage of this, um, which I effectively would call stabilizers, these four weights, perimeter weights that really stabilize the putter. 
it's almost difficult to twist it offline you need to really apply some uh, you know some some um, turn of the hands whatever you want to call it to make that putter move and really to kill those hands to me is a real effective thing the grip and the forward press again takes a lot of the um, debate sometimes when you stood over your putt where should my hands be higher lower forward back you know this just you put that putter down and i address it that is me done i haven't got to do anything i've got to get myself in a comfortable position and uh, the alignment aid is good the two ball alignment aid works but in terms of that swing weight again really encourages a uh, full sort of swing encourages your tempo to be good and again from your ability to be able to twist that face is almost uh, taken away from you it certainly takes some doing you pick your line and there's no way this will work but we'll try it and it's done it thank you it's just look no put our holes everything i've said that a hundred times before we ain't stupid but what this does is like the stabilizer analogy it gives you an assistance that i don't understand why you wouldn't want it and for me only me i've always found it far easier to put with a mallet style with that kind of stability than i do with a blade that's the first thing and then this even roll zero just takes that stability to another level so for me absolutely i buy into this concept i buy into this idea and i would encourage anyone to give this a go now the three putters i've tried so far for me that is by far the winner but having said that we're not finished yet because the most interesting bit is perhaps yet to come and this time it's not about the putter head it's about the putter grip it is the even roll mid lock this is a 40 inch putter with a grip on it that uh it's a little bit different now what the grip does effectively you can see that sort of curve that's almost fit to your forearm so you grip in your normal natural position is a 34 inch standard putter with six inches added onto it so it's perfect in terms of where my normal grip position would be and then you lean the putter forward so that it's touching your forearm that gives you that forward press and again to attach your right hand and uh, you are in what is a very comfortable I won't say comfortable a very stable position you get comfortable with it it's not something if you walk into the pro shop and I've seen many people at Carden Park here pick up that putter and give it a go and the automatic response is oh my word what is that all about but then once you try it for a few times you do realize okay putter head isn't twisting I've got an anchoring point which is a very a very um, debatable um, situation they've got themselves into as to whether or not this should be allowed or not because I certainly feel there's an element of uh, I won't use the word cheating but you know the direction I'm going into here because this is certainly like I said an assistance if you like to the standard putting situation whether you like it or not is uh, I think very much a personal preference not fairly difficult putty to say the least but we'll give it a roll and I just like the fact that like I said I feel over the ball I almost feel nice and compact encourages that sort of rocking motion we've whizzed that one by not a best example of how to use this grip but you get the understanding the midlock xl it might be for you i don't think it's for me but i do understand and i appreciate the mentality behind this and now it might help and assist quite a lot of you to be honest with you Let's see if we can redeem ourselves after that uh, poor demonstration and lack of concentration right shut up and Yeah, much more like it the theory the concept that it works it's just gonna take one heck of a lot of getting used to for someone that's played the game for quite some time i would imagine but then having said that if you're struggling with your putting and it's an issue then uh, don't get me wrong i would certainly give it a go well so the question is really is um was it worth the two-year wait to try these things well i think the answer to that was yes it was because they're without doubt every single putter whatever grip i've had on the putter heads themselves and the feel and roll that you get out of them is superb they all look in my opinion really really top drawer as well the quality of the bill like i said at the beginning is absolutely superb the standout product for me is the zero and uh, it's because of all the reasons i won't just go on and repeat them but it's for the reasons i stated earlier on when i tried it it's a real standout product again i don't think it's going to be for everybody but for me personally i just love what it does 
My suggestion would be that if you're the type of person that invests heavily in their putter, so if you're a Scotty Cameron user, for example, and to be honest with you, even the top end Odysseys and the Toulons are all racking up that £300 plus price bracket now, that would certainly, before you make that investment, make sure you get to try an even roll putter. Now, you may be asking, why have I left myself a 40 footer to finish off? Well, because, why not? If this goes in, can you imagine? In fact, if it goes close, I'd be impressed. But you know what? The pace is really, really good. And that's one thing again that I've, uh, has been so good throughout this whole video. It's been, uh, it's been an even roll. Sorry about that. See you later.